Hello everyone, this is Bro S of the Halidoc Bro signing in, doing another figure unboxing. As you see, I have Team Ukyo, uh, Hatsune Miku, it's basically Hatsune Miku with a bike, I call her Hatsune Bike Miku. Uh, but Figma 307, Put on that. 20, Miku 2015, Team Ukyo, Uekyo, Ukyo. <laughs> Uh, but on the back here we have just her holding the bike, or her holding the bike with the water bottle. We've got her riding the bike right there at the top. We have her fist pumping almost. Uh, there's the bike itself. I actually found another random bike that I'm going to try and compare it with, and we'll wait and see. There is from the backside putting her hand out. Looks like she has two or three faces. I'll figure it out when I get it open. It looks like actually only two. Happy smiley, sorry, happy smiling face like that, and, and, I don't know, closed mouth, con concerned look, we'll call it. Let me switch my lighting now. I just want to go over the other sides of the box, I don't know if I covered that side. There's the back side, there's the top side with that, this pump version I'll call it, and it looks like the handout version, uh, this right here. Alright, but let's get it open. I've been looking forward to this one. I like to put the the item in the middle of the of Hatsune Miku's name, so Hatsune Snow Miku, Hatsune Bike Miku. So this one is Hatsune Bike Miku. Let's take a look here before I get it fully opened. So we've got the, the tires right there, other face, water bottle, figure itself. Looks like I have to assemble the bike myself. Let's get all this stuff and I'll before I start assembling the bike, I'll I'll keep, let's get all this stuff off. And of course, I can't assemble it in the package like a Lego or something, but I'm just going to show this real quickly because it looks like super simple. Alright, so other variations of tires, I'll have to figure out in the instructions here in a moment. And then there's the base. Uh, looks like those are handlebars and some middle pieces. A lot of these look similar to pieces that come with the little armory assault lily guns. Let's take a look here at the figure itself. Part of the reason I do this is because uh, if I move, I want to be able to put the figure back together. Of course, I'm not going to be able to fit the bike back in the package itself. But I know where stuff goes. I know what's supposed to be wrapped up. So there's some tape across her. the top. Pull this stuff off. So her hair is pretty wild, as has been the case recently. Okay, so that was just a this plastic piece was just on the back. This is also just protecting her hair, but because it's, I don't want to call it raptor claws, it's just sticking to the plastic because of how curved it is. It's actually, it's not sharp, but it's, it is definitely pointed. Alright, let's go over this real quickly. I'll be delicate, I don't want to break it like I did the last one. Uh, so, standard leg, shoes, ankles. I actually really like the shoes, and, oh wow, there's holes on the bottom. I'm assuming those fit into the pedals of the bike. It's got a bunch, couple of different companies on the back. Let's actually switch my lighting. Can't quite read what that says. Oh, it's just a... Anyway. All right. Arm just goes up. Same wrist, arm goes up. Okay, I guess it's not concerned face, it's just, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. And she's got a little crown like she does on some of the other ones. I kind of like that. I think it's supposed to be a hair thing, but it looks like a crown, or it's supposed to be like a part of a helmet, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, it looks like we've got two sets of instructions. I think one is probably, oh, so one is bike assembly and the other one is for Miku herself. So it just goes over stuff. I don't see any other instructions. And then I'll just pull this out real quickly. Alright, so yeah, it's just instructions on how to put the bike together. I think on the other side. Okay, and it's actually pieces, or how to put the bike together itself, actually. Or uh, as opposed to just A, B, C, D pieces, it's actually the instructions to put a kit together. Alright, now I'll have to figure out what, I mean, why these are like this. 
maybe it's just two separate pieces and this forms one one tire. I'm not quite sure. But I'll figure it out here in a short while. Alright, and as for the face, this is the smiling face. Didn't come with anything extra. I don't think there was a pre-order bonus this time around. And lastly, I have the water bottle. Alright, and it says Team Ukyo and Good Smile Racing. I actually like how small that is. Really quickly going to cover... Okay, so she has eight hands. Well, seven hands, rather. I don't know why they have an odd number. Maybe there's a hand holding something. Uh, and then there's the base itself. It looks like there's a clip, which was with, like, Angela Balzac to hold her in place, mainly probably to keep her on the bike. And on the bottom itself is... I'm not going to remove the piece. Is the pieces of the bike itself. And that actually looks really cool. There's, I'm assuming that's the front fork. Uh, the bike itself. Oh, maybe that's... You know, I'll take it, I'll figure it all out when I put it together. I'm not actually going to show that. It's probably going to take me quite a while to put it together. Uh, but hopefully I'll come back and we'll have it all built. Hopefully it won't take too terribly long. So I'm going to go over some of the parts of the bike itself uh, and put it together here in a little bit. I'm not going to show the cutting out of the parts, but uh, we have the frame. Do a little bit of a close-up here. It looks like that's the handlebars there. Maybe that's the seat. I'm not sure until I get it put together. Yeah, that probably is the very front fork of the bike. Got some handlebars here, it looks like. Some gears for the middle. At least part of a pedal. If I'm not mistaken, this is this will be the other pedal. It looks like it. And I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe that's a brake? Looks like it might be a part of either on the side or like a gear changer for the for the spokes of the wheel it by uh wheel itself or the the middle spokes. And lastly it looks like here is the seat itself. That was some stuff, yeah, it looks like it slides right in. Okay, after playing around with cutting out some of the stuff, I wanted to put Miku into a pose. Let me switch it. So I'm going for this pose right here. Which I think I mostly got, but then I noticed at the same time, it's similar to her head's kind of at a, the most bizarre angle. But she has no, I, I should have noticed it earlier, she has no hole in the back. And she has to be held on by the clip. So I've got that out of the way. Just another couple things as I continue. So I cut out the two pieces for the bike and I was wondering what's going on. So the pieces actually fit into each other like that. And there are actually little ridges there uh, in between each of the spokes where the other side of the, of the wheels will fit in. And that's like that with both of them. There's a little, a little ridge in there where it will fit in. So it also lets you know what needs to go on the inside. And I noticed that the wheels on the bike are very similar to that where they're interspersed like that. Lastly, and I should have known this was coming, I noticed it before I thought they were actually painted on the bike, but there are stickers. As per usual, this is going to be fun. Um, I'm going to keep putting the bike together. I may, I'm going to update as I go along. Um, I wanted to show off those just couple things right off the bat. It looks like I got the next pose down. I've got the bike mostly built. I haven't put on the stickers yet. I will put on the stickers next and give her the smiley face. But I was aiming for this, this right here. I got it mostly down. I had trouble because she wouldn't balance very well with the... She wouldn't balance very well with the with the stand. It kept making her fall over. The gravity was in effect. Uh, but let's I'm gonna aim for the last one and get some stickers on, and we'll go from there. Now that I've got the stickers on and everything, this is gonna be the final pose I'm gonna work with. I know it's not exactly like I would like, but it's uh, <laughs> it's gonna have to do for right now. It took me quite a while to put all the stickers on to put the bike together itself. Uh, I actually had to use a little bit of the of glue to put in some of the pieces um but 
I feel it's been worth the effort. I didn't want to use the stand. I know she has the stand here uh, just to prove kind of that she can stand up on her own. Uh, it does take a lot of posing and it's she's not balanced back on her hair. That's it took a lot <laughs> took a lot of time to balance that out. Uh, I don't necessarily like the stickers on this one just because they do show up. They you, you can see the edges there. Actually, these ones turned out quite well. But you can see the edges there at the top, not exactly what I was looking for. Um, yeah, you can definitely see it right there. So they don't blend, as, blend in as much as I would like, and they don't fit very well. Uh, they almost are a little too big for the tires themselves. And yeah, just they have, that, they have that glossy sheen as opposed to the rest of the bike, which doesn't. Really liking the Miku herself. I, I like I went over earlier, I like this. I like the hair, how kind of a sharp I wish it was more streamlined or she had hair to change out let's see if I can get her to balance again yeah she's quite precarious oh I did get it down there we go uh but that is Ukyo or Ukyo <laughs> team Ukyo version of Hatsune Miku Figma 107 or Figma 107 Figma 307 thank you guys for watching this is Bro S peace out